There's growing outrage over the IRS's admissions that it snooped into the records of Tea Party aligned groups, outrage that goes right to the top. If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous. The president says he first learned about the issue through news reports Friday, though the White House says its legal office was notified last month that an inspector general's report was nearing conclusion regarding the IRS office in Cincinnati. But I've got no patience with it. I will not tolerate it, and we will make sure uh, that uh, we find out exactly what happened on this. Meanwhile, Republicans in Congress have been asking questions for two years. <laughs> In none of his responses to any of these members of Congress did he mention anything about the conservative groups being targeted. In fact, he assured lawmakers that the additional screening that was being given was done, was proper. A draft report from the Treasury Department shows the head of the IRS division responsible for tax-exempt organizations knew two years ago that some groups were being targeted. She was alerted to this on June 29, 2011, and she was told at that time that groups who had applied for tax-exempt status that had the words Tea Party, Patriots, or 912 Project in their applications were set aside for additional scrutiny. The GOP-controlled House will hold hearings Friday, and both parties are demanding full disclosure. Whether they're investigating conservative groups or liberal groups, they should not be involved in this. The IRS did not respond Monday to requests for comment. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.